common area to hold tension and stress is around the jaw. And rather than sit here and tell you how many areas of the body are affected by tension in the jaw, it's much easier for me to say there's almost nowhere in the body that is not affected by tension in the jaw. So we're going to do a couple of release techniques to free up that zone. <clears throat> the first one is for a muscle called the lateral pterygoid. And it's a muscle that has attachments right onto the meniscus that's in the joint of the jaw. So if you're someone whose jaw locks, cracks, pops, or gets stuck, um, your lateral pterygoid is likely a, a contributing factor. It may not be the only contributing factor, but it's likely one of them. So I don't have the setup here to do it, but normally when I show people how to do this, I tell them to do it at a desktop, and you let your elbow rest on the desk. I'll show you the hand placement in a moment. And then you just allow the weight of the head to rest on the hand rather than trying to push into your face with your hand. So I don't have that extra surface right now, but for you at home, place your elbow on a surface, and then when I show you the, the place to put your thumb, you'll let your head rest in your hands. So you're gonna find your cheekbones. So we've got the apples of the cheeks where the cheeks are round, and follow the cheekbone all the way to the ear. And if you were to find the halfway point between those two, that's where you're gonna place a thumb. You're gonna do both sides, I'm gonna just demonstrate one at a time. You want your thumb to come slightly underneath that cheekbone, it's called a zygoma. So your thumb is angling a little bit in towards the center of your head and a little bit up towards the crown of the head. So again, the halfway point between the apple of the cheek and the ear, you find the cheekbone, come slightly below it, and with the thumb, the thumb is angling in and slightly up. So now you guys have your elbow on a surface, imagine I'm on a surface here, and you're leaning, I said to do both sides at the same time, that was a lie, do one, do one side at a time. So now you're gonna lean your head onto your hand. So how much weight you allow to come through into the hand depends on your comfort level. So you guys stay in that position. I'm gonna take my hand away and describe it a little bit. If you're tight in this area, it can be pretty intense as a sensation. So don't be afraid of that. That means you're on the right spot. For whatever reason, this muscle does not like to be massaged. So you're not doing anything with your thumb or with your head. Once you get into position, you're just allowing the weight of the head and the pressure of the thumb to slowly and gently melt the muscle that's underneath the thumb. It's very common that as you're there, you're gonna feel pain radiate into your jaw, towards the eye, and or towards the ear. Again, that means you're doing it right, you're on the right spot. If, however, it feels too intense, you simply back off. And absolutely, if you are feeling that radiating pain during, do a little test. It should cease as soon as you take the pressure off. If that's the case, then it's fine. You're just feeling it because you're, you're putting pressure on the area we're trying to. So how long you stay here is really quite individual. You want to stay until you feel a bit of a change. So either you notice a softening under your thumb and it's not quite as tight, and or all of a sudden you notice, oh, you know what? It's not radiating anywhere anymore. Or that intense can be like a deep ache that you feel right under the thumb. All of a sudden you'll, you'll find that that's not there anymore. So you stay for as long as it takes to feel better, come out of it, and then you do the exact same thing on the other side. And I should have had you test before and after. It's, it's nice to do a little test of checking how much you can open and close the jaw and whether or not that feels free and easy or not. Translating the jaw from side to side and sliding the jaw forward and back. So I would do those tests beforehand. Do your releases on both sides, test it again after, and notice if you have any change.